Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. So this image was shot in studio, as you can see, it's a white background that's actually my wall. And the camera that, was, that I used was the Sony a7 III, the 28-75mm Tamron lens, it's a 2.8 lens and I was shooting at 6.3, uh, 1 over 1 25th per second, ISO was at 2, was at 125, alright? So I was using a one light setup. Most of the light, most of the setup I use is one light, and as you can see in her eyes, I was using a uh, highlighter, so it bound to light under her neck. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do with this image right now is to crop it. So I'm gonna press. So you can press C on the keyboard, or you can come over here to the crop tool and click the crop tool. Because I always use the 45 ratio, which is 8 by 10 in inches. Uh, to upload my images to Instagram it uploads the full size it's automatically here so yeah so I'm gonna click the image and then I'm gonna move this up to a boat right here because I want her fingernails to be in the shot as well so that is it so the next step now is to I'm gonna start this a little bit different because we have a spot right here we're gonna try to remove that spot so I'm going to create a new layer and then I'm going to press B on the keyboard for the brush. I'm just going to try this method and see if it works. Then I'm going to put my opacity down, well, my flow down to 1% opacity going to stay at 100. Then I'm going to hold on on Alt and click an area of the image that I'd like to um, uh, sample from. And then I'm going to paint over the, um, the dark area right here just to get it lighter so it matches the skin so I'm just gonna well matches the rest of the body so I'm gonna alt again and do the same thing again until I get it to a comfortable um, complexion or color skin color all right so that looks good so far but what I'm gonna do well before and after but what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on this low layer here as well. So I'm going to press J for the clone stamp tool and, well, not the clone stamp tool, the patch tool. And then I'm just going to remove some of these mark from the deodorant. All right, so that, like that. All right, so that's, that's good so far. And let me just do right here as well. That's good as well, right here, right there. All right, good. So seeing that I'm already on the patch tool, I'm just gonna go over and remove the other blemishes from the skin or any blemishes from the skin. All right, I'm gonna zoom this up. She did her own makeup. She's actually a makeup artist as well. You can go over to my Instagram page and you'll see the image there. If you like the image after it's edited or if you like what's happening here, you can just go over there and like it now. I'm going to link her page to, um, I'm, going to link, I'm going to mention her in my description so you guys can check out her page if you wish and also check out her makeup work. This is actually um, a shot that was done for Valentine. So it's like a Valentine look. Just gonna come right here. So all I'm doing is to uh, remove the pimples from the skin. It's always good for you to uh, zoom into the image sometimes and make your adjustments because you will miss things if the image is zoomed out. So it's best to go in and out. All right, so that looks good. zoom out already all right so I'm gonna remove these um, the, this is the back of the nose ring I'm gonna remove them I'm gonna get the clone stamp tool by pressing S not sure if you guys have seen the um, I'm actually using the new PC now um, the one that I told you guys I'll be building so if you'd like to see the process I went through to build 
this new PC you can um, check out the check out my personal channel for that it's gonna be in the link it's gonna be in the link in the description as well I'm trying to um the pointer and I'm not sure if I like the pointer that's on this Okay. I'm gonna go back to the um, patch tool. All right, good. So I remove the back of the uh, nose ring in both nostril or from both nostril. good all right perfect so I think what I've done so far looks good I think I still need to work on this area here um, let me just do some more patching so before and after all right I'm going to rest that a little bit now and I'm gonna go on to the um, frequency separation so Control shift alt E to create a new uh, layer uh, then I'm just gonna create a action for the frequency separation. I'm gonna keep it at radius. I'm gonna do radius seven for a change. And the radius is what actually, uh, well, if you're gonna use like a radius of seven, it will the image itself will not be 100% detail it's going to be a little bit soft if you use like f if you use like 10 or 15 or 20 you'd retain more texture in the model skin so that's something that you should think about but because i have always been using 4 6.4 and i know exactly how to use it that's why i continue to use it so i'm going to go down here to the low frequency layer when i click on the mixer brush your mixer brush might be nested on the brushes so you click on your mixer brush oh I see another thing right there to move I'm gonna remove that now press J on the keyboard for the um, clone stamp I keep calling this clone stamp this is the patch tool I'm gonna remove that it's best to remove something that you see right there and then and not wait because you might forget to uh, you know move it so let's move it right away all right so i'm gonna go back down to low frequency layer and come back over here to the mixer brush uh ensure that your mixer brush wet is at two percent and ensure that this is cleared if there's any color there you can just clear it and also if you click this right here like if you unclick this and then click that then it will clear the brush as well so it's time for me to do some frequency separation real quick so it's just going to even out the skin right now right. let's look at this so far okay that looks good I'll do the side here I really love her makeup I really love when she do um, her makeup like when she does her makeup it looks really really good like she's really I'm really proud of her achievements though cuz I mean she's always been doing makeup on herself and then um, you know she never really done it on anyone and then she finally decided to do makeup professionally and right now she's doing well and I'm super proud of her yeah she's actually one of my makeup artists she when I recommend when people contact me for jobs I recommend her for makeup as well so look at this before and after all right I'm gonna come down to the arm and do the same thing it's very easy to retouch trust me you just don't need to overdo it and then you will definitely accomplish something just think about keeping your image as natural as possible and trust me you will have great images but the the smartest thing to do is to you know ensure that you do the best you can 
in studio or wherever you're shooting and not rely on Photoshop to make adjustments. Try to get it perfect in camera first and then come in Photoshop and do the rest. A lot of people, you know, always think certain things they're going to leave it and do it in Photoshop. It's not a good idea. You want to fix everything first and then um, fix everything in camera first and then do the rest here. Alright, so I think I am done with that. I'm going to do some... Oh, wait, I think I want to do something here. I'm going to create a new layer. Control shift alt e Press J for the patch tool. I'm just going to patch right there. There was a patch of here right there. I didn't want to leave it, so I'm removing it. Alright, good. So, I am done. I'm going to go on to... I think I want to brighten up here a little bit more. I'm going to get the curves. I'll come right here and get curves. Then bring this up. Then click on the layer. Then Control i to invert. And then B for the brush. Ensure that your foreground is white when you're painting on black. So it can reveal what's under it. And my flow is still at 1% because I don't want to add too much. That works. So before and after. Alright, I'm good with that for now. Or that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not sure what's happening here yet. Here doesn't look um you know what I'm gonna create a new I'm just gonna flatten this one. I'm gonna merge it and then I'm gonna create a new frequency separation after I create a new layer. Alright, I'm gonna work on here a little bit more. I'm gonna press M on my keyboard for the mixer brush. That is my shortcut. Your shortcut is going to be um, B. So, yeah. Alright, so I was just trying to mix. I'm not sure what's happening. What's this? Not sure what that is. I'm trying to figure out why I'm getting that effect. I can't seem to figure it out yet. Let me see if I did anything here. I'm going to merge everything. And this is not something that I recommend you guys doing, <laughs> merging the entire layer, but I just want to see what's happening, why I'm getting this error. Let me just do it again. Go down to the low frequency layer. I'm on the mixer brush and I'm going to try to mix again. All right, so maybe it's because I flattened the um the frequency separation layer why I was getting that error. But it's now fixed. So the next step now is to do some dodge and burning. So I'm going to start with a dodge and dodge is working with the light area. I don't think I need to highlight here anymore, but I can highlight here a little bit. And maybe here. Here as well. I mean if the if a part if a particular section of the image is already highlighted, I don't think you need to highlight it again. Because it's gonna be too bright. Good. So I'm gonna well right here a little bit more. I'm gonna come to the um, dodge. Here already has I'm gonna put a little bit more. But right here. So not dodge, well burn, yeah. Uh, burn is basically working on the dark areas. Alright, that's good. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I need to do anything more. Just gonna maybe add some more of the um, the burn right there. Um, maybe that's too much. Hmm. I'm going to get rid of some of the burn by changing the foreground to um, black and just paint black right here. Yeah, I think that is better. Alright, good. So that is it for the image. I'm going to do some coloring now and then that is going to be it. So Ctrl R Shift E to create a new layer. 
and then I'm gonna come to camera raw by going to filter camera raw I'm gonna come over to collaboration right here and then I'm gonna pump the blue in the image and that's it that is it there's nothing else I need to do with this image um, before and after with the color grading I am done yeah so thank you guys for watching uh, this video <laughs> If you've learned anything please like and subscribe and subscribe to my personal channel as well um, not sure if you guys are familiar with it but right here and also my wedding channel you want to subscribe to that as well if you want to see some wedding wedding photos all right wedding videos and behind the scenes and stuff like that so thank you guys again for watching and go over to my Instagram and like this image bye bye